Happy Friday, you guys. Uh, I hope you're getting ready for the weekend. But before you get to the weekend, you got some work to do. Make sure you are completing all four of your assignments today so that you can enjoy the weekend. And when I think about enjoying the weekend, I think about maybe hmm, like baking some cookies, which, you know, I love. Um, baking some brownies. Um, maybe taking a bike ride. Do something fun that's also safe. Uh, making sure you and your family stay safe this weekend. All right, let's go ahead and get into this big question. It's going to be sort of exciting in science today because we actually get to create the whistles um, that the mothers are using as they speak to their calves. So I'm super excited about it. I know that you're going to be excited about it. It's going to be a challenging activity because you're going to have to actually think about the wavelength and try to get it to a T, meaning try to get it perfect so that you can create these three different whistles. But before we get there, let's go ahead and recap our big question. We've been looking at this big question every day. I know you guys should be dreaming about it. You should be thinking about it when you're eating dinner. You should be thinking about amplitude and wavelengths. We've been learning amplitudes equal volumes. When I think about amplitudes, I think about quiet and I think about loudness. When I think about wavelengths, I think about low pitches and high pitches. What is a low pitch? That is a horn of some kind. What is a high pitch? That's like a flute. It is like a whistle. Um, so we need to continue to think about that, but we're going to create and work with some wavelengths today as we try to create or replicate the mother whistles today in our simulation. Recapping our vocabulary words, I want us to really remember these vocabulary words because I want us to use them in our assessment that's coming up. We have an assessment in like maybe two, two or three days. Um, I am going to do a review, but I want us to remember these vocabulary words because we should be using these words in our CER. The more scientific language that you use, the more points that you can get to boost that grade. So amplitude, what is it? How tall a wave is. We're thinking about the height of the wave. When we think about the height of the wave, we're thinking about the volume. Wavelength, what is it? The distance from peak to peak on a wave. So we're thinking about long and short. Um, this wave or these peaks could be short. If they're short, they're very, they're much tighter like this. If they're long, they're, uh, you have this gap, between a really larger gap between the two peaks. When you think about waveform, that is the curved line that shows the pattern of a wave. So we think about this as our pattern. This is how the sound waves uh, would look if we could actually see it, but this is what it looks like in visual representations. We know a little something about visual representations because we read our text yesterday, which talked about um, visual representations too and how doctors and scientists use those visual representations. All right, continuing on because again, I want us to really get into our whistles today. So this is what we're going to do and it'll be inside of your class assignment. You will have these three whistles to create. You'll uh, have a breakdown in your assignment of how to do it. So you'll receive um, all three of these whistles actually that you're going to recreate each whistle will have a set of directions that you need to follow in the simulation. As you get into the simulation, you will um, you will have to play with the wavelength and make sure you are matching up that wave that uh, wave printout with these wave printouts so that you can actually hear the signature whistles of the three different mother dolphins. Your wavelengths cannot be the same because it's going to sound exactly like one mother dolphin, and we want to hear three mother dolphins. Um, this is what's going to help us figure out how these little guys can hear their mother call as opposed to any other dolphin call. So it's very important that you create the simulation. The practice, the visual representation is going to help you understand it. If you understand it, you're going to do excellent on your assessment coming up um, in two or three days. So make sure you're paying attention, make sure you're opening the simulation, and make sure you're really trying your best to follow those directions so you can get these exact wave printouts so you can hear the three signature whistles of these three mother dolphins. 